Hello, thank you everyone for joining me for this year's award ceremony. This is our eighth year of doing this juried exhibition, and like every other year, it is an incredibly strong show. So my name is Miranda Mem Sawyer. I am the art coordinator for the Spartanburg County Public Libraries. And before we get started, I did want to just give a big thank you to the Spartanburg County Public Libraries, the Board of Trustees, of course, uh, Todd Stevens, without all of them providing the funds through the library to have this exhibition, it would not be possible. So thank you very much. And of course, thank you to all the staff that participated in helping hang the show and transporting it. And also all of the artists that have participated this year and all of the other years that we've had it. So thank you for continuing to be a part of the show. Uh, it's always very popular at the library and we have a lot of patron patrons that truly appreciate seeing the artwork coming out of our community. So this year we have Zane Logan for our juror. He is the instructor of photography at the Fine Arts Center and he has exhibited internationally and all throughout the United States in both solo and group exhibitions. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first category is honorable mentions. There are four of these awards that we'll be giving out today. The first one goes to Seth Sheaving for his artwork, Ignorance Was Bliss. Our second honorable mention goes to Anna Mintz for her, her photograph, Homeward. Our third honorable mention goes to Ashley Waller for her painting, Unmasking. Our fourth and final honorable mention goes to Brianna Greer for her painting, Multifaceted Woman 1. Our next category is Merit Awards. Three of these were given. The first one goes to Kathleen Digney for her painting, Violet. Our second honor Merit Award goes to Morgan McCarver for her Wheel Throne Porcelain piece, Dark Reflections. Our third and final Merit Award goes to Annette Giacco for protector. Our next award is the staff award. This was chosen this year by Leanne Lauter. She is one of our staff members that works in the multimedia and fiction area. So thank you so much Leanne for choosing this one. This one goes to Shay Black for her painting Choose Joy. The next award is chosen by our head librarian, Todd Stevens, and this year he chose Melissa Piney's Sun-Drenched Beach Before the Clouds Arrive. Our next award was also chosen by Todd Stevens, and this will be going into our permanent art collection within the Spartanburg County Public Libraries. This one goes to Annette Giacco for Protector. The Friends of the Library Award was chosen by our juror, Zane Logan, and this year it goes to Cecilia Ho for her felted piece, Remote Valley in Alaska National Park. Our next award is our Juror's Choice Award. The juror commented, the starkness of the black background and the scale at which the seahorses have been rendered serves to mementalize and memorialize the diminutive creatures. This artwork is Catherine L. Siva's Black Market Seahorses. Our third place award, the juror said, the room is filled with a delicate soft light that initially invokes a comfortable, peaceful response but that quickly shifts as the events of the past one and a half years are considered. This piece is Jessica Swank's Solitude. The juror continued by saying, a sense of loneliness and isolation begin to leach into the space. There is a continual 
baculation as the image shifts from tranquil and restful to claustrophobic. Our second place award goes to Doug McAbee for his artwork, Good Night Nobody. On this one, the juror commented, the use of bold colors and a whimsical mix of humor and the bizarre create an enthralling and unfamiliar space. The artist has used the shape of the canvas as an additional vehicle that works to advance the ambiguous narrative. The layer content is resistant to an easy read and asks for a thorough inspection for potential meaning and narratives. For our first place award, the juror was drawn to the complexity of the subject's intently direct and penetrating gaze. This award goes to Aldo Muzzarelli for his piece, Prejudiced Rain. The juror continued by saying, there is a sense of vulnerability and a subtle wavering of self-confidence communicated through her gaze and posture. There is also an undeniable sense of strength, perhaps newly acquired, present in the subject's presence. The decontextualized space and surface treatment creates a timeless and atmospheric space. So congratulations to all of the award winners and of course all of those who got into the show itself. We did have over 100 entries this year, so just getting in was pretty competitive. Thank you all so much and I really hope that you can come out and see this exhibition in person. It is open whenever the library is open. And after that, hopefully you all will return and be a part of it next year. So thanks again. My name's Miranda. See you soon.